Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO haul from Rick by Brick, and today we have my Black Friday haul here. And I'm going to start with the big package here. And go from there, there's a couple of small other things, but it's mostly the big thing here is this one box. So, this was ordered on Black Friday itself from LEGO Shop at Home. And inside we have a set that has been pretty high on my wanted list since it came out. And it's a relatively new set as well. We'll leave out of here. It's pretty stuck in here, I guess, as well. And let's pull this out of the way and get the box out of here. There we go. You can tell what it is by now. We got the Disney train. And Disney Castle is one of my favorite sets, so I wanted this as soon as it came out. Uh, and didn't buy it right away. Um, it is $330 regularly, which is a little bit on the pricey side. But I knew I was definitely going to get it eventually. And on Black Friday, they put this on sale for $230, 30% off. So I woke up early that day to buy it because they had to have it. And as a bonus also got this cool little Christmas tree. I was really strongly considering buying this the uh, VIP weekend before just to get the Christmas tree and for double points. But I'm very glad that I didn't because $100 off is uh, way better than double points and uh, the 2x4 buildable brick thing. So really happy to have this and excited to build it. I don't know when I will. I might wait a little while and tear down some old sets to make room for this so that I don't have to leave this you know, sitting on my desk until then, but we'll see. I might I might uh, not be able to wait that long. But we got a couple other small things as well. On um, Black... I don't remember exactly when I bought this, but this was nine fifty on Amazon. Um, I don't remember when. It wasn't on Cyber Monday when they hit it for $6. Um, I had actually bought this before then, and I missed out on the $6 one anyway, so I'm glad that I got it when I did. Um, you know, it's a set that I've wanted and it's retiring soon. This was from Target on Cyber Monday. Um, they'd had several sets 50% off, a couple of LEGO Movie 2 ones, um, some that I'd already gotten recently when they did their last 50% off sale. But this one, you know, I wanted the Batman, so, you know, I got it. And then I also had a $25 Amazon gift card um, on December 1st or something. Uh, this was after Cyber Monday that I bought these, uh, but they both went 40% off and brought my wanted list, so I just bought them. The S Lloyd Spinner, which it's just a spinner, nothing special about it. Um, so I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't, you know, on sale. Like I mean, I would have bought it eventually, probably, but I wouldn't have bought it now at that price. And I've also got this Toy Story 4 set. The I mean, the last one that I needed, I may. I don't have the Buzz coaster thing, but I don't know if I care enough to buy it at this point. So, you know, maybe I'll end up getting the last one, but for now, you know, happy to have Gabby Gabby and be done with it. And we also have the probably the best percentage off deal that I got here, uh, the Vader Transformation. And that was... Uh, one of Amazon's Cyber Monday deals. $9.09 for that $25 set. And the best part is, uh, at least I'm assuming that's what this is, uh, the best part is that uh, they lost it. And, you know, asked me, you know, if we can either refund you or give you a replacement. They're like, sure, sh ship out the replacement. So I got the replacement here. And then a couple days after I got the replacement, um, this package showed up and as I assumed, it's the one that they lost. So now I have two Vader transformations, and you know, they didn't charge me for the second one. It was still like they, they just sent out a replacement for the first one, and you know, I haven't said anything about the second one. So now I have two for nine dollars, which is a really good deal, honestly. Uh, you know, I was happy with nine dollars for just the Darth Vader and Palpatine figures. So. I don't know what I'll do with the second one. I'll probably just hold on to it for a while. Um, 
maybe sell it eventually or just sell the figures and get some parts. I'm sure I could break even on figs. Maybe even make a little money. And then we have one other um, final little package here. And, you know, it's a small thing. This is actually just part of a purchase. Um, I, I didn't get any freebies with this purchase, but this was um, also on Black Friday. I couldn't split it into two over $100 orders, so I didn't get two freebies. Um, but they put these two sets on sale. This was $10.39, and you know, it's a LEGO store exclusive, so you're not going to see it discounted. And I'm glad I bought it when I did, because it is sold out now. I don't know if it's retiring. It wasn't on the list of sets that are retiring, uh, but maybe it will do an experience in early retirement. And I also got this, which I believe was on the retiring list, and this was 50% off, so $6.49. I wasn't going to buy this at all. I wasn't even on my radar, but then I saw it in the sales and deals section for $6.49. And I bought those two with the Dragon Boat Race, because the Dragon Boat Race was on sale. And I was going back and forth on whether or not I should buy it. And finally decided that I will, and if I'm going to, you know, I'll just grab these two things while I'm at it. So, because I, I had been considering holding on to it to purchase in December for the, the mini gingerbread house. But, again, I think it's sold out at this price. And, you know, for 20% off, I decided to just do it then. Uh, so, you know, what the world's smartest move ever buying those two at that point didn't wait for a promo or anything but you know for half off of that can't really go wrong so this is a larger haul than i was expecting it to be but we got some cool stuff here disney train is gonna be a really cool thing to build up so i can't wait for that and you know, the other stuff uh darth vader transformation i guess out of all the things here i was not expecting to get that ever so you know, for that price it's really cool though and I guess the other thing that I don't care too, too much about is the Metal Beard set. But other than that, some really cool stuff here. And I guess I don't really care too much about that set, but the Gabby Gabby figure is very, very cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, haul. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know which one of these things here is your favorite. And I'll see you guys all next time. I was, did I mention that... I don't know if I mentioned the prices of the Buzz and Bow pizza. That was $15 on Amazon. And the Ninjago Spinner was $6 on Amazon. Uh, so, sorry. Now back to the outro. And uh, yeah, let me know which one of these sets you think is the best. Uh, which ones you'd like to see me review, maybe. Uh, I don't know if I'll review the Disney train. It depends on whether or not it'll fit on my desk for a review. So, we'll, we'll see. But uh, if you'd like to see one, you can still feel free to comment down below. And you know, if a lot of people want me to review it, then I will do my best. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everyone.